You may please be seated. Welcome, family and friends, loved ones. We have gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Zinnia and Lucas. Thank you all for coming here to share in this union they make with one another. And on behalf of these two, I'd like to extend their gratitude to you all for being here today. Because there's no better way to start your marriage than with being surrounded by the loved ones who have helped you become the people they are here today. So welcome to all of you who have traveled from near and far. People have traveled from out of the state, out of the country to be here. And you know, one of the beautiful things about today is not only the celebration between these two right here, but it's also a celebration of family and friends. So, because it's not often we get to see each other, especially dressed fancy like we are all here today. So again, we thank you for being here today to give them your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support with their marriage to one another. Oh gosh. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Harold. Uh, I met Lucas and Zinnia like over 10 years ago, uh, and I was working at an internet cafe, and uh, we used to play games throughout the night, like for as long, longer than I'd like to admit, you know. And the character I played in these games was a priest. <laughs> so it's kind of fitting for me to be here, officiating this wedding for these two, and I'm very honored to be standing here in front of you guys. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, but when I first met these guys, I immediately noticed something about them. It's probably the reason why we've hung out together for this long, and it's their contagious laughter. <laughs> the laughter from these guys is the kind of laughter where you could be in any kind of mood, and it would put a smile on your face, wherever you are in the room. And you want to be a part of what they're doing, because you know, it looks so fun. Like <laughs> and you know, nothing much has changed. You know, we're still laughing. So thank you guys for, for that. And uh, so you guys ready to do this? Yes. All right. Please face each other and join hands. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, repeat after me. Zinnia, I take you as you are. Zinnia, I take you as you are. Loving who you are now and who are yet to become. Loving who you are now and who are you are yet to become. <laughs> I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. To be grateful for our love. To be grateful for our love. To be generous with my time and affection. To be generous with my time and affection. To be patient with you. To be patient with you. To fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter. To fill our life with adventure <laughs> and our home with laughter. <laughs> To, en yeah, okay. <laughs> to encourage you to grow as an individual. To encourage you to grow as an individual. To love you completely. To love you completely. These things I pledge before you. These things I pledge before you. Our friends and our family. Our friends and our family. Zinnia, please repeat after me. I take you as you are. Loving who you are now and who are yet to become. Loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. To be grateful for our love. To be grateful for our love. To be generous with my time and affection. To be generous with my time and affection. To be patient with you. <laughs> to be patient with you. <laughs> To fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter. To fill our life with adventure and fill our home with laughter. To encourage you to grow as an individual. To encourage you to grow as an individual. To love you completely. To love you completely. These things I pledge before you. These things I pledge before you. Our friends and our family. Our friends and our family. You've both chosen to wear rings as a reminder of these promises. People often say wedding bands are a perfect circle with no beginning and no end. But these rings did have a beginning. The stones were formed a long time ago. Eventually, a series of events caused them to rise to the surface where someone dug them up. Metal was liquefied 
in a furnace at a thousand degrees. We're getting <laughs> epic here. <laughs> Molded, cooled, and painstakingly polished. Something beautiful was made from something raw. Love is like that. It comes from humble beginnings, and through a combination of serendipity and effort, imperfect beings are, share, are, are shaped into something right. extraordinary. Alan, may we have the rings? Lucas, as you place this ring on Zinnia's finger, repeat the words after me. This ring this symbolizes my love for you. This ring symbolizes my love for you. And the promises we have made today. And the promises we have made today. Go ahead. <laughs> Zinnia, as you place this ring on Lucas's finger, please repeat after me. This ring symbolizes my love for you. This ring symbolizes my love for you. And the promises we have made today. And the promises we have made today. Will you, Lucas, keep Zinnia as your favorite person? To laugh with her, go on adventures with her, support her through life's tough moments, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her each and every day? I will. <laughs> Zinnia, will you keep Lucas as your favorite person to laugh with him, go on adventures with him, support, support him through life's tough moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find new reasons to love, love him each and every day? By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church at getordained.org, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now share your first kiss. Please turn, turn around. Face the cameras. I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. B.
So welcome to Sania and Lucas's wedding reception. How about a big round of applause for them? Yeah, feel free to clap along. All right, so coming up first, we have Nina and Brian. Next couple, Sonia and Carrie. Next up, Sue and Reed. Next up, the maid of honor, Wendy, along with the best man, Alan. Yes, to make some noise when I introduce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Lee, let's hear it. So, um, I don't know, it's hard to believe that it's been uh, 30 years uh, since we were five years old playing in the school sandbox. Um, we locked eyes, and we were inseparable ever since. Lucky for me, though, uh, Lucas went through puberty at like 10 years old, and he was like the tallest guy in school, you big sexy. <laughs> but I always felt taken care of, like my own personal bodyguard, and it also made sure that I never went hungry, always providing me with those special warhead candies that I couldn't get enough of. But uh, now that I think about it, it may have been payment for uh, helping him scam my fellow classmates into buying fake signed baseball and basketball cards. You did that, man. <laughs> um, even in high school, with your fake Chinese mafia crew, I knew I was always protected. He was my all-time favorite date. <laughs> You got some Thailos up in here? <laughs> to watch, uh, he was my all-time favorite date to watch movies, just the two of us, and I always knew that I could count on him because there was actually really nothing else going on for us at the time. <laughs> we didn't need any girlfriends because the two of us were like peas in a pod, and we knew that we were enough to fulfill each other's needs. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> So just when I thought things were perfect between us, he dropped a bomb on me in college, and he got himself a girlfriend. Some chick from Burma. <laughs> I don't even know where that is, and my only relationship to Burma is from Rambo. <laughs> but anyways, I started to stress. Is this chick going to break us apart? And uh, what about me and my needs? But lo and behold, it all worked out because she became the best third wheel in our relationship. She tagged along for all our movies, our late night dinners, our game nights at the PC Bang. She was the best addition we could ask for in our lives. And this is how two became three. But even as the three of us got along so well, I eventually had to leave the nest to find my own life, <laughs> even knowing how hard it would be for the both of them to let me go. But seriously, all jokes aside, uh, Zinya, I'm very happy for you. Congratulations on your wedding. And uh, honestly, I don't, I don't know what Lucas's life would look like without you. So uh, let's raise our toasts, or our glasses. And uh, you guys are perfect for each other. And uh, finally, finally we're here. Uh, we, this is a long time coming, but uh, you guys are finally married, so welcome to the club. All right. Well done, Alan. So I was actually going to sing a song about Lucas Zinnia to Taylor Swift's love story. But I thought that would scare the guests, so don't worry, I'm not going to do that. I also thought about offering some couples advice, but I think these two have been together longer than a lot of us here, so they probably actually could school us most of them on, on this topic. Next, I thought, here's my chance to share some embarrassing stories about Zinnia. But she actually has more animation than me, so I'm going to pass on that as well. <laughs> um, so instead, I'm going to start off by telling you about the awesomeness that is our bride today. 
I've known Zinian since we met in high school. Naturally, we're, fr we're friends because we're so similar. I'm undecided, and Zinia is always confident with her decisions. I slow at yellow lights, and Zinia speeds up. For all of those who've been in her car before, you probably have experienced that. Zinia always has a witty remark up her sleeve, and I have better comebacks year after year thanks to hanging out with her. And that is part of who Zinia is. She brings balance to a person's life, to all that have the pleasure of knowing her. Zinia would do anything for a friend. She will be there for you during your craziest times, which obviously for me was rare. <laughs> she is the type of person that will stick up for you and stand by you even if your opinion is different from the masses. Every time her and Lucas went on their adventures across the world, I would miss her, but it made me smile knowing that these two lovebirds were off again exploring. To quote Mark Twain, there ain't no sure way to find out if you like a person or hate them unless you travel with them. And these two seem to have excelled at traveling together from Korea to Taiwan to back home. And now they have a lifetime more adventures together. Zinia also gets me candy. Seems to be <laughs> same theme as Lucas. Um, you know that candy bowl at the hostess desk at restaurants? Some of them are really, really good but I'm always shy and I usually only get one. However, if Zinnia takes notice of candy I like, she'll stick her whole bowl, hand into the bowl and grab like 20 and throw it into your purse. <laughs> and that's why Zinnia is my best friend, because she gets me candy. Actually, that's just a small example of the type of person Zinnia is. Someone who is thoughtful and generally does things to make people in her life smile. I see that smile on Lucas all the time. <laughs> She's the most loving, caring, intelligent, all-around all beautiful person inside and out. Lucas and Zinnia's life only amplifies all of those attributes. She's more grounded and happier. Zinnia never exhibits FOMO. For those of you that aren't familiar with the term, it means fear of missing out. And I think she's never experienced it largely because she's been with her other half this whole time. It's impossible to describe the genuine love friendship and comfortable compatibility between the two of them, but to only say that it's a relationship that all desire to aspire to. Lucas, I was 99.999% sure that you were the one for Zinnia, but what took it to 100 was your proposal. Some people may propose over a candlelight dinner, some on a horse, but not Lucas. For those of you that don't know the story, Lucas built with his bare hands a customized shoe closet for Zinnia. I know, I know. <laughs> Bought her a pair of shoes she wanted, and when Zinnia reached in for those new pair of shoes, she found a ring box, and in that intimate setting, he proposed to her. <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, wow. You truly understand, get, love, my friend, and her love for shoes. <laughs> truly, you two are a beautiful couple. You always are laughing, smiling, enjoying the moment with one another. It has been incredible watching the two of you grow and the strong support system you have for one another. Together, you are such a beautiful family that I look forward to seeing grow, and I foresee nothing but happiness in your future. Congratulations on finally, with an L.I., getting married. I would like to give the beautiful couple a big toast. Let's all raise a glass to their future happiness. And with Lucas' favorite hobby in mind, fishing, cheers to Zinnia and Lucas. Today you become each other's biggest catch of a lifetime. Hi guys, thanks so much for coming. I know many people came from a uh, very far away. Rukmani came from Pasadena. That's pretty far. You remember that? Sonia all the way from Australia. Yeah, I see you, Sonia. I see you. Woo, girl, get it, girl. Well, first, I'd like to thank you all. We already did that. And I'd like to thank my parents. I'm so sorry for the teenage years. We had a lot of, uh, a lot of problems then. But we, we made it. We got here. We did it. And uh, I'd like to thank Zinnia's parents. Uh, I'm sorry it took so long, but we made it too. We got here. <laughs> and it's, uh, we're just, 
The rest is gonna be fine. Just, just trust, trust me. Huh? Oh, Dad, happy birthday, Dad! It's your birthday! Hey! I got you a daughter! <laughs> yeah, alright, now I'll we'll pass the mic. I just wanna thank you all for co oh, this is weird. <laughs> I just want to thank you all for coming. I know Temecula is far, and I was roasting you guys out there in the heat, but I really appreciate all of you guys being here. I know we've been getting asked for the past 10 years when this is going to happen, so here it is. There it is. <laughs> I want to thank my mom and dad for being super awesome and supporting, and my brother and sister for always buying me crap. And, <laughs> and thank you, my sister and Jay, for this dress. And my brother and my sister-in-law for my fabulous shoes. There you go. And happy birthday. <laughs> and, and thank you both very much. Um, Lucas is an awesome guy, and I really appreciate you guys for it. And, um, uh, and, and I know I have a really awesome father-in-law and mother-in-law. Yeah. Let's uh, have some drinks, guys. <laughs> I need to feel
pass by far too fast Hard to see while it's all flying past But it's clear now When you're standing here now I am meant to be Wherever you are next to me All I wanna do Is come running home to you Come running home to you And all my life I promise to Keep running home to you Keep running home to you From the start, right from the start, that you would be, be my light in the dark, light in the dark, oh, you gave me no other choice but to love you, all I wanna do is come running home to you. Every hour, every minute. Let's hear a round of applause once again. 